offense from the top four. So uh, from this from this position, um, many times if I what I'm trying to avoid is the guy just turning to his side when I'm in this position uh, because it takes away all my back attacks. So if I can get in the habit of moving to this back position first and, and kind of you know <coughs> waiting for him to react, sometimes that's a good way to open up. If I can successfully pin his hips and stop him from lifting up or turning sideways, then that his options, if he wants to move, are to raise his head, move his arms out, and that's really what I want. Let's let's say that he starts to like uh, lift his head up just a little. See right there, boom! I start to come around now. Raise up a little bit, like so I can show the grip. So I'm going for clock. So I want my thumb on the inside of the collar. My arm is at a 90 degree angle. I don't have to have it super deep. All I want it is about like right there on his collarbone. Okay. This other hand stays in position here. Um, you can drop your head down now. So what I'm going to do is, if I try to hold the grip from here, my body just doesn't reach. So I just kind of come around to the side to that knee in the knee to knee position here. I'm going to put my head on the ground way over here. What that's going to do is it's going to put my my uh, ribs right on the back of his neck, and that's going to create a lot of pressure. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just let my head hit the ground. I'm taking a lot of weight off with my body, so I don't, I don't crush him. But as I turn this hip down, I'm not using any arm strength right here, none. Okay, all I do is I walk in a circle, right there and tap shot. The trick there is to turn your, your ribs right on the back of his neck. If you try and choke him with your weight up here, you're not going to be successful with it. Okay, dive your head, turn your hip, and now just slowly pull and tap. We're going to continue.